Uh, we are here this afternoon to enthusiastically endorse the candidacy of Kathleen Rice. Uh, Kathleen Rice uh, is a, uh, currently the district attorney in Nassau County. Uh, she defeated a 31-year incumbent uh, many years ago, a few years ago, and just was re-elected in an otherwise awful year for Nassau County Democrats, showing uh, Kathleen Rice's broad appeal uh, to the people of Nassau County who are concerned about justice and uh, protection, particularly of those who are most vulnerable in our society. Uh, Kathleen Rice uh, was uh, worked for the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office and was assigned to the elite uh, homicide unit. Uh, from there, she went to the uh, U.S. Uh, Attorney's Office uh, and uh, worked for the Department of, of Justice, uh, an award-winning uh, prosecutor, uh, gaining national attention as DA in Nassau County uh, for her prosecution, aggressive prosecution of drunk drivers uh, who kill and maim their victims. Also protecting children. Uh, from sexual predators and also the elderly uh, from fraud and abuse. Uh, she is a serious prosecutor with an extraordinary record in public service that's been recognized uh, by the people of Long Island, uh, including Nassau County, and is quickly becoming evident uh, to everybody throughout New York State. Kathleen Rice has raised much more money than any of her opponents. Uh, she came out of the Democratic Convention uh, with 37 percent of the vote uh, in a a five-way, five or six? Five-way. Five-way uh, uh, race uh, with other candidates. Uh, she continues to uh, demonstrate a great viability in statewide polling, most recently a Siena poll that has her uh, far out front of all of her opponents. Uh, she's not a product of Albany. She's not a product of Wall Street. She's a product of her neighborhood. She's a product of a family where uh, what were instilled in her were uh, strong values of honesty, of hard work, uh, of commitment, of helping those who are most vulnerable. Uh, she brings those values to Buffalo today. Uh, I am uh, proud to endorse enthusiastically the candidacy of Kathleen Rice uh, to become our next uh, Attorney General uh, in New York State. Uh, with that, I give you Kathleen Rice. Thank you very You're much, welcome. Congressman. I am so thrilled to be here today with Congressman Higgins and to uh, accept his endorsement for my candidacy for Attorney General. You know, as everyone knows, this is a very crowded race. There are five of us in this Democratic primary, and I, I, I so appreciate Congressman Higgins coming out and supporting my campaign, but most importantly, coming out so early in support of my effort to become the next Attorney General. Um, I, it is so wonderful to be here in Buffalo. This is not my first trip, as Congressman Higgins knows. I've spent quite a bit of time here in Buffalo, gotten to know the people and the issues and the concerns of everyday people and what they want most in an attorney general. Um, it is hard to find people with more strength of character and local pride than everyone here in Buffalo. As someone hailing all the way from Long Island, an endorsement coming out of Western New York, I have to say, is certainly an, uh, a badge of honor that I'm going to wear with great pride. Um, I'd just like to highlight some of the issues that, uh, in parallels between Congressman Higgins' district and the county that I represent, which is a county of over 1.3 million people. We uh, both have a uh, represent a mix of urban and suburban neighborhoods. Both of us have stretches of waterfront standing right in front of the one here for Congressman Higgins uh, that are critical to both recreation and commerce. And both of us have a wide variety of industries driving the economy from service to real estate to manufacturing. Um, you know, everyone here in Buffalo, we have the same concerns on Long Island and concerns from people all across the state. We're concerned about corruption and fraud in our government. We're concerned about wasteful spending of our tax dollars. We're concerned about Wall Street and large corporations and protection of consumers. You know, just to tell you a little bit about myself personally, and this is a, a large reason why uh, Congressman Higgins and I have, have uh, connected so strongly, is the similar backgrounds that we came from. I'm an Irish Catholic uh, from a large family. I'm one of 10 kids. Uh, my parents raised all of their children to focus on education, which is the great equalizer in life, as we all know, and to do something to give back to our community. I have chosen to do that by being an advocate for victims, an advocate for consumers, an advocate for the taxpayer. Being that voice, that independent voice for people to help them at some of the worst times of their life. Right now, New York State is going through very, very difficult times. And what we need 
is someone to restore the confidence that all of us deserve to have in our state government, which has been lacking severely of late. I can bring that change. I'm very confident that my strong record on reform and accountability and transparency is one that resonates with people all the way from Buffalo to Brookhaven. I am so happy to be standing here with Congressman Higgins. He represents the people of this great area so well. Everyone here is so lucky to have him representing them, and I'm so fortunate to have his support, and I'm incredibly grateful to receive it so early in this race as well. Thank you again, Congressman You're Higgins. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. My record is one of reform, as I said, and that is the message that we all need to hear right now. If you look at our Democratic candidate for governor, the present Attorney General Andrew Cuomo, this race is about one thing, reform, reform, reform. We're not just talking about holding all of the businesses and the financial institutions on Wall Street responsible for all their wrongdoing and making sure that they play by the rules, but going after public corruption and ensuring ethical uh, standards in Albany. You can't do that when you are, you've been uh, perceived at least as, as just being part of the problem. I am not a career Albany politician. I have spent my entire life as an independent voice, as an advocate for people, and this is what we all need right now. We need serious reform of how our state government addresses the needs of regular everyday people, and that's what I intend to do.